Tyler Terry walked into the courtroom for the first time since his capture, his hands and feet shackled. Terry is facing six attempted murder charges and one count of murder in Chester County. And there were a number of people in the courtroom today, including someone impacted by the crimes authorities say he committed. Uh, thank you for denying his bond, but um, I just want to let him know that I uh, forgive him for what he done to me and may God just have mercy on his side. Fox 46 South Carolina Bureau Chief Shakira Speaks was in the courtroom and explains why the judge kept asking Terry if he was okay or understood what was happening. As Tyler Terry listened to Chester County Magistrate Judge Jeffrey Garris explain what was happening in the courtroom, he just stared at him. Judge Garris questioned him several times about his well-being. So, uh, you feel right, Excuse me, can you see that? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, you want to make sure you understand where you are. You understand where you are today? Yes, sir. Where are you today? Where are you now? Do you know where you are? Yes, sir. Where? Okay. His lawyers believe he may have been nervous, but the judge questioned his ability to comprehend. But I'm always concerned, though, that the defendant is aware of what's going on, and I'm concerned, I'm hoping that the attorneys are aware of his condition and whether or not he's... We have no concerns based on our conversation this morning. Terry faces 11 counts of attempted murder, one count of murder, and other charges in Chester County and the city of Chester. But the verdict was the same for both the county and the city. The bonds on all charges will be denied. Sir, on all the charges that we face with the city of Chester, this afternoon, sir, I am denying bond on all charges. When asked if Terry should get the death penalty, Chester County Sheriff Max Dorsey says he couldn't comment on that just yet, but he should never be free again. And that's not up to me to decide. That's for a judge and jury to decide. But in the end, um, is my opinion, he should never see the light of day. Reporting in Chester, Shakir Speaks, Fox 46.